Welcome. So now what I'm going to do is show you how to determine the slope uh, when we have a table. But now you can see that my x coordinates are not changing. My x coordinates are remaining the same. Every single x coordinate is always 3, but then they have different y coordinates. So remember, determining the change in my, um, to find my slope, I need to find my change in my y coordinates over the change in my x coordinates. Now remember, we can pick any two points that we want to. And you know what? I'm going to pick this coordinate point and this coordinate point. So to find the change in my y values, I go from 2,000 to 5,000. So to find the difference or the change, I'm going to subtract 5,000 minus 2,000. That's going to be the change in my y coordinates for these two points. Then to find the change in my x values, I need to do the same thing. Well, 5,000 minus 2,000 is going to give me 3,000. And 3 minus 3 is going to equal 0. Now, 0, we cannot take a number and divide 0 into it. So therefore, in this case, our slope is undefined. All right, It's not 0 because um, 0 was when we were dividing a number into 0. But when we're taking a number and dividing 0 into it, it's going to be an undefined slope, which will produce a vertical line at our x coordinate of 3. So whenever you're looking at a table and you see that your x values have, are unchanged, you're going to have a slope that is going to be undefined. And again, it doesn't matter what two points I pick, because look it, no matter what two points I pick, I'm always going to have a difference in my x coordinates of 0, which will always produce an undefined slope, which will be a vertical line. Thanks.